Hello, welcome to my channel, Lori's DIY Life. Okay, I got this today, and I believe it is the auto ship for the squares. I believe. It's funny because I'm not getting notifications when I have packages coming, so. I'm getting to a point where I'm always surprised when they come. I mean, it just all of a sudden started. I was always getting notified by UPS when they were coming. And now I'm getting notified after they've been delivered. So, um... A new folder, I can use that right now, too. Some stamps, nice size stamps. Um, some um, stencils. Boy, you'd think I couldn't talk. And the envelope to put everything in. So yay for this. I like that they're doing this, sending these when they send the kit so you can just stick everything right in that. Definite bonus. I like Diamond Press, quality stuff. Usually, I mean, at a good price to me. Anyways, it seems like it. What did I just do didn't I just do this okay so we got handmade gifts nesting tags instruction sheets so this says three on here here's option one This looks like kind of what we get. So these must be the stamps here. And then the stencils. Here are the dies. We have cupcakes. A ribbon. What is that, icing? Those cookies, whatever those are called. Chocolate chip cookies, cupcake with strawberry on top, and then the tags. Nesting, handmade gifts, nesting tags. Nice. Option one shows you, you have this and you can die cut out any of these sentiments. You can embellish with the desired stamps, dies, and stencils. And then two, option two is to die cut either tag and use a stencil to stencil the design, embellish with desired stamp dies and stencils. Option three, die cut either one, and then use the stamps and embellish with desired stamps, dies and stencils. So let's start here. These are a very good size. Let me just show you. There's my hand. I don't have big hands, but there's my hand. Um, measures three by four. Three by four. And then this would have to be, yeah, about the same. So, they're good size. Alright. So, we might as well take this one. 
and let's do the to and from. To and from, like that. Let me get the new folder. And I think I'm going to use multi-purpose from Crafter's Companion and I'm going to cut out the square if um, you hear the fan going my craft room happens to be the last room in the line on the air conditioning vents and it's very warm in here and then, so I don't have a big light, but the light does add warmth. And I got my hair put up in a bun, and uh, but that's just the way it is. So now we're gonna get that put on here. And I don't usually, but this time, oh, here's some already. I'm going to use the washi tape and hold it on. I should have put it in the folder so that I could just tape it to the folder, right? So. It's on the paper, come on. All of a sudden, my finger said, mm -mm. Okay, oh. All right. Let's hope it stays put. Bring my marquee over and cut. Yeah, this from is a little loose in here, but maybe it won't be too bad. No, not too bad. Yeah. Okay, so come on, there we go. Let me grab. Um, one of the stencils. Oh, we didn't even look through the stencils, did we? Just kind of real quick on that sheet, right? Okay, so in the stencils, we have just little triangles. Floral hearts, hearts put into a flower, plain stripes, and just a pattern. I don't, I need a solid paper to show you. So there's that. And there's the stripes. Here's the heart flower. Here's the triangles. So I want to use my 
tape just fell on the floor. This one. And I'm not even going to worry about where it is, what it's doing, or anything. It's just going on. We didn't do this. We have... Thanks. That's pretty. We have Enjoy. Pretty. 100%. You can put it in there. For you. Okay, so I am going to uh, take my tag, take this, and get to my stamp stuff. Hmm. It's rosewood. My car is a rosewood and it is brown. I don't know if that's going to be brown, but we'll see. I think a reddish brown, maybe. This is what we're going to get. Mm, I think this is going to be the color. darker color, but we're just going to keep on with it. Keep it simple and basic, but I do kind of love these tags, and I can see me batch making them in like Christmas patterns and um, just having them for Christmas because they're good size. You can make them as pretty as you want or as unpretty. You know what I mean? Ugh. I didn't really get any on that part. But that's alright. I am going to Oh. I have a paper towel, but I don't have nothing wet in here at the moment. So I'll just wipe it and get as much as I can off of it. It doesn't matter um, if it stains as long as it's not going to you know, bleed over, and this should dry and not be stained, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, so two from, and then it says just decorate with the dies and stamps that you want. You know, I don't want to use any stamps on this one, but I do think that I like the idea of... Well, first of all, I'm going to cut another one out in another paper and back it. So, I just got to figure out what paper I want to use. Maybe this. Yeah. That looks decent to me. Okay. So, I'm 
just gonna take this. You can leave it open if you want. I just like the idea that I can put in my paper back behind it. So I'm going to <laughs> and of course you know this is going to leave an imprint on here so you know flip it, flop it, whatever, do it again. My folders always end up with cuts all over them. And there it is. And I will just glue this on here. I love these bottles. I don't know about the glue. I can't tell you about the glue, but I do love the bottles. So, I mean, I think the glue is pretty good. Sometimes I wish it dried a little faster and then sometimes I'm glad I have the time to move it, so. But the bottle perfect with that big old lid on there because I was always forever lose those little pins. Always. Okay. Two. And you could have put, I could have put a solid white and that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Oh, well, that's all right. Two from to you for me. And a die. Now I need a die. <laughs> to put something on here. It will be a stamp and die, won't it? Well, let's see. How about just the bow? Let's do the bow. Um, what did I do with the white piece of paper I had? It's a big old white piece of paper. It was. Is it in here somewhere? There, maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. I used it for this. It was a whole sheet of paper. Now I can't find it. Mm. How do you lose it like that? Someone please tell me what I'm doing. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know. Here it is. Okay. Thank goodness for that. So I'm gonna do the bow. So I'm gonna do the bow. And I'm going to do it in the same color as the stenciling, I guess. I probably should do a different color, huh? Mm. Let's just try it. I like to use my stamp position, but I want to be able to do a couple other tags for y'all, so... So I just let it 
feed this. And I didn't even lay it flat, so you know this isn't gonna turn out good. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Cute set. I really like the size of the tags. Like I said, I love the size of the tags. I am the worst for losing things. <laughs> they need to quit. They need to quit doing... this stuff like they do it and clear and whatever. <laughs> uh. I think that's going to be pretty good. Let's see how my judgment is. Hmm. Good. Yes, it does. I guess I could have, on this end, moved it up a little bit, but that no, looks pretty good. Just do I want it up here? Maybe like that on the side. It needs to be above that, right? Somehow, I don't know. Maybe at the bottom. Yeah. But if I put it at the bottom, I'm gonna need to color, color, color it. I got a pink, a magenta. Happen to be right there. Do we want to do some shading on it? It's going to end up being a lot longer video if I start doing all this. But I guess if we're going to do it, I do it right, right? Best to do it right. Okay. So it's going to be shadow here. In here, that's where I'm going to put my shadow. Then medium. And then light. Okay. And then I'm going to come here and do the... Pretty much the same thing. Now this is a marker card because I didn't think I was actually going to be doing coloring in. So it's not going to give me the best blend. I find the best thing is not to have the straight line, but to kind of make your line jagged. I'm not even doing that. I'm just putting it on. Hmm, shame on me. Okay. Dark here. Going out. Yeah. 
and to the right. Okay. And then here. Dark here. Medium. And light. Not very good. Not a very good coloring job, but it's going to be all light. And then here we're going to go and we're just going to get some dark by the where the bow meets. Have y'all ever seen anybody do it with the dots? I used to do this more and I was better at it. And I love doing the dots. But it's been so long that I don't even know if that would really work. I'm just doing it so quick, I'm not even doing a neat job. I'm all outside the lines and everything. Okay, and so this is going to be darker here. And along here where the bow is. I'm going to bring that there and then the light from here and I'm going to come back here and I'll tell you why because I go over it twice it's going to be darker and that's going to give me the sunny spot where that bow is coming up it actually does work if I want to I could come back with my white acrylic paint marker and fix those or I could use my blender and and alcohol ink them out. So now it's probably a better. Mm. You know, honestly, I am just not crazy about this bow. Here. But I'm gonna put it on. The hole is plenty big. It's about the round of a pencil. Okay. That's there, number one. I should do that. And I'm happy with that. That's pretty and it's nice. And I wish they would come out with a Christmas theme. I really do. I wish they would do this for Christmas. I mean, I can make it Christmas with a gift for you and some Christmas dies, but um, it would be nice if it was just already right there, right? Okay. That was option number one. Option number two. Die cut your tag and then use a square stencil to stencil a design on the tag. Embellish with desired stamps and dies. So let's do the round one. Uh oh. Ugh. I don't 
doesn't want to stay. I mean, it doesn't want to come off. Okay, and I'm going to do the white again. Okay, that's been cut there. This has been cut. This has not been cut into, so that's the way I'm going to go this time. And I got my white paper. And cut that out. I love getting the new folders, and I had tons of them, and I've been going through them. Because it seems like I use it, my marquee for everything. Everything. Okay. So did you notice on the other one the nice stitching around it? Where did I put it? <laughs> Here we go. There is nice stitching. Like little stitch marks around here. That really adds a lot to it. This one has the stitching here. So I'm going to take... A square stencil and honestly I'm thinking about stenciling a pattern also the bow came off I'm thinking about doing a stencil over the stencil. Let me not do that. I'll just do it this way. I'm going to put the thanks I really kind of want it straight. It's not straight on here though. Okay, I'll just do it the way they have this thing set up. Let me get one of those finger daubers and my inks here. Let me see. What did I do with that? Here we go. Um. I want to get a brighter color out of there. There we go. It's uh, shamrock green, which is kind of cool because it's got this thing here. So let's make sure we got no ink on there. Okay. Now we could use any other stuff from the multimedia kit. Multimedia mixed media kit. I'm gonna do this because there's no pieces sticking up and it just does seem like it gives you a brighter some brighter than just daubing, 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 right? And sometimes you can get a more even look this way too. Okay, so there's the thanks pretty. Is that pretty? Okay, so we got that and now I think what I might do, let me clean this off a little bit. And I need another color. The 
because I want to do some of the other stencils. Where did I put the colors? Let's see what I got for colors. How about a blue, Moroccan teal, <coughs> excuse me. I don't want it too dark. Ooh, that might be dark. That might be like this kind of dark. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of this. This is one of those two very simple designs. Not too much sticking up. Okay. Let's try a little bit of this. Should I do it a different color? I think I'm gonna do them all the same color. And come back with some of this on here. And just go in with some of this. Let's see. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I should have done different colors and and then it wouldn't have mattered if I layered it and stuff. You would have been able to distinguish it. But then you can also take some die cuts, which if I wanted to be sure and sure I was going to use this, I would definitely try to cover up some of this. So what would I use? Um, some of the stamps do not have a die. So these do not have a die. This one says to and from also. Handcrafted, homemade, homemade. And that is something for you. I hope you love it. From the kitchen. So these are for when you make, because it says homemade, right, in the title. So, if you make something for somebody, you can add that on. But I think I'm just going to use it for tags all together for under the tree myself. I'm just going to get this ink off of here. So, let me see. This. And. Like I said, these stencils will be good for the mixed media kit also. So, always happy to see stencils now. I didn't used to be. I didn't appreciate it. I didn't appreciate them that much. So, I do better now. I do appreciate them better. Yeah, I guess. Um. Okay, now, what was their number? three. Option three was to die cut the tag and then option three die cut the tag and then use the stamps to stamp the design 
on the tag and then embellish with desired stamp styles and stencils. So, oh, that's pretty. I hope you love it. I'm not going to do that one. It's, the video is half hour and over half hour and I just don't like them to be too long for y'all and you quit watching through. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it here. But like I said, it's nice that we get these now so we can just stick it. I don't think this is going to fit. See, that has to be cut down, but you can. Um, you can scoot everything over enough to cut it down and fit it on or fit it in that envelope. I want to show you just, you see how much it's got to come off, but you can take some off of each side. Sometimes some of these things are so loaded that you can't. And you can take a, get one of their, get one of those magnetic sheets. And I was going to go get some magnet sheets, but, um, <coughs> every time I go where I was going to get them, I go in for a specific reason. I don't go, mm, not making a special trip. And so... I don't get them because I don't, I don't think about it then because I'm going for something specific. So I was told that I could get magnet vent covers or something at the um, home improvement and that it's a lot cheaper and that they work really well and I was going to get those and try them out for everybody. But every time I go in the home improvement, like I said, I go in for one reason and then I forget to look at those. Someone told me ages ago too, so it's not like this is something I should maybe just make that special trip and go look for them. It was one of my friends here on the channel. So that's what all that's you know the only thing that won't fit is that die cut thing. And so moving it over, cutting it, and there we go. I got everything in right, yep. And instruction sheets and Oh, here's the, right on there what it is. I will put DP, uh-oh, not on a brush bar, it just doesn't work so well. DP for diamond press. And, oh boy, that's some horrible writing made. Yes. Nesting tags. There we go. 
Much better. And this can go in here. Sometimes it's easier to put it in through this other way. So we'll see what comes next. I can get in. Huh. I was supposed to be doing this Christmas before July. Before or before Christmas in July and get that mini done and here we're going to be starting Christmas in July and tonic um it's already got a Christmas set out and spellbinders is already doing Christmas I love the glimmer plates but I don't have a glimmer machine and I go that's that's out I'm not gonna go buy a glimmer machine for that so I just definitely might have a hard time myself this year they already started and they got such cute stuff if it wasn't all so cute it would be so much easier right that's what I think it's not fair sometimes Boy, I pushed that way too far in. There we go. All right, so loving this set, and I honestly think, if I remember correctly, this was the reason I signed up for this. Auto ship was for the tags. Um, so if you like my videos, please hit the like and subscribe button. Y'all, thank you for joining me, and hope you join me again. And everybody have a blessed weekend, and a happy 4th of July. Bye-bye.